Hi guys, today I'm gonna teach you how to make cinnamon bread. One recipe done three ways. Here are the ingredients. Start by gathering all the ingredients. And using a large bowl, add in one and one fourth cup of milk. Temperature is just above body heat, about 110 degrees. Add 1 fourth cup of melted butter. Add 1 fourth cup of granulated sugar. One teaspoon of salt. And two and a half teaspoon of instant dry yeast. Whisk well. You may use the traditional active dry yeast, but it adds time to prepare because you have to dissolve the yeast first in lukewarm water and needs proofing for a certain time to activate it. Now add in one large egg. Instant yeast dissolves and activates faster. That's why I like using it when making breads. Ingredients also need to be measured precisely to get a perfectly risen dough. Now add in 3.5 cups of all-purpose flour. Stir with a rubber spatula or wooden spoon. Mix in a stand mixer fitted with a hook attachment like mine and knead for about 3 minutes until evenly combined. If mixing by hand, turn the dough out onto a work surface sprinkled with flour to avoid dough from sticking. Knead for about 5 to 8 minutes. Now my dough has been mixing for 3 minutes now. I'll remove them from the bowl and place them in a lightly floured surface. I'm just going to work it by hand for another minute and form into a ball. Now my dough is a bit elastic and not sticky. This means it's ready. Transfer the dough to an oiled bowl, cover with clean kitchen towel or plastic wrap and set aside. Let it rise for an hour and a half to two hours until doubled in size. For the cinnamon sugar filling, combine together one cup of brown sugar and two tablespoons of cinnamon powder. Stir until well combined. Make sure to break the sugar lumps too. Once you get an evenly colored brown powder, add the softened butter. Stir until you get a paste-like mixture. If you find the paste too thick, you can microwave it for about 20 seconds to soften the mixture so it's easier to spread. Then add a teaspoon of salt. Mix again for a minute and set aside while we prepare the dough. After 2 hours, my dough now looks like this.
Now place the risen dough onto a lightly floured surface and roll it out into a rectangle. Keep turning the dough as you flatten it with a rolling pin to make sure that it's not sticking into your work surface. Flatten it evenly as much as you can. Now put the cinnamon sugar filling into the surface of the dough and spread evenly. Roll up the dough carefully. Slowly but surely. Cut the roll into 12 pieces. I will slice mine about 2 inches thick each. You may slice them thinner if you want to have more portions. Place these into a greased or lined 9 by 13 inch baking pan. Leave an even space between rolls. Cover with plastic wrap or clean kitchen towel and let it rise again for an hour. After an hour, your cinnamon rolls will look like this. I will let this continue to rest while I'll do the other breads. I made another batch of dough. Same recipe that I used with my cinnamon rolls. I'll divide this into two and use each half for my braided cinnamon and cinnamon sticks. Knead lightly and cut into two equal portions. Set aside the other half. Form the dough into a ball. And using the rolling pin, Flatten the dough, making it fit on a 9-inch square baking pan. I learned this style in a pizza place near my house. I once ordered a box of cinnamon sticks and it came like this. Square, simply sliced cinnamon bread. It's delicious, straightforward, and very easy to make. After transferring the dough into a pan, brush it with melted butter. Sprinkle a generous amount of cinnamon sugar. I made it by combining 1 cup of granulated sugar and 2 tablespoons of cinnamon powder. I'm using half of this powder and use the other half on my braided bread. Set this aside and let it rise up again for 45 minutes. For my third bread, knead lightly again for about a minute or two. After kneading, use a rolling pin and make a rectangular flat bread just like what I did on cinnamon rolls. But this time, I will not roll it. Rather. I will slice them into thin strips.
I will make about a half inch thick strips. You can decide whether you want your braided bread bigger or thinner. It may look small when you first braid it, but remember, it will rise back again, so it will still double the size. Roll each strip, creating a rope-like bread. Each bread will be needing three ropes. If you can braid here, and then you can braid bread. Cut the ends and seal the seam with your fingertips. Braids doesn't have to be perfect, but try to make them about the same size as possible so they will cook evenly at the same time. Once finished, brush with melted butter. And drizzle a generous amount of cinnamon sugar. Once finished, let it rest for 45 minutes to 1 hour. After resting, all three of my breads have risen and are now ready to go in the oven. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit and bake the cinnamon rolls first. Bake the rolls for 40 minutes or until they are rich golden brown. Next, bake the other breads for 30 minutes with the same oven temperature. Now my cinnamon rolls are perfectly baked, but it's not quite finished yet. It is recommended to cool it for 15 minutes in the pan before adding the cream cheese drizzle. To make the drizzle, in a small bowl, add 1 4 cup of softened cream cheese, 1 cup of confectioner sugar, and 3 tablespoons of milk. If you want a thicker topping, add icing sugar. If you want it thinner, add milk. As simple as that. Stir until there is no more sugar lumps and everything is well combined. Transfer the mixture in a cup and pour the cream cheese drizzle all over your cinnamon rolls. Now my braided cinnamon breads and cinnamon sticks are also out of the oven. Let them rest in a cooling rack for 10 minutes and place them in a nice serving plate. Cinnamon breads are ready! Making breads takes a lot of passion and patience. They may require a lot of time to make, but they are definitely worth the wait. Enjoy these soft, fluffy, sweet cinnamon breads any time of day at the comfort of your own home. These are best served warm. Happy eating!